I don't know how many times I've pulled into here. I bring cigarettes back in the old days when I smoked, and you pay duty on them. I understand the idea of stopping illegal people, and I, I'm really more concerned about the drugs than I am the illegal people. I really am. I taught children who came across every day who would talk about gunfire that they would hear at night in their homes, and that frightened me. That frightened me, and my wife and I have not been across in a long, long time because of that very reason. But as far as the rest of it goes, I can't say that I do. I'm not real happy with the parents for having risked their lives, but I, I tell them I understand. I really do. But I'm worried about those children. If you look over here, that's, that's Ursula right there. And there's hundreds of kids here suffering things that they might never get over. You know, they're going to be traumatized for life because of some decisions that a couple of politicians are making. You know, we have so many examples in the past of, of, um, of times in our, in, our, in our world's history where people have, uh, have been victim to these, these kinds of injustices and, and now we're the ones, you know, causing the harm. You know, as a parent, you're risking your child's life coming here, okay? So obviously things must be so bad that you'll risk your child's life to get here. And I understand that. I'm a parent and I'm also a grandfather. And I'm telling you, taking away children, putting them in danger, boy, it goes against everything in my body. It's such a beautiful area we live in here. It's a fusion of two cultures, the American and the Mexican culture. It's where the Tex meets the Mex. I wish it wasn't this way, you know, because this place has a lot to offer. And it's, it's sad to see it be uh, disgraced by something like this. I was shocked to hear that it uh, kids when the kids were being shipped here in Bristol, uh, it kind of made it real to me very close and very personal um, to the fact that I, it brought it to life more than anything. Uh, I mean, I knew that the kids were being taken away and housed somewhere, but to say it's in my own neighborhood, it just kind of set me back for a while. Youth for Tomorrow uh, is approximately 2.5 miles from the house. Um, drive by it often when we go in, when I go out to the grocery stores. I do believe that the Youth for Tomorrow is a uh, place that they will get some help and guidance. Um, but for me, I mean, I. It, it bothers me, but you just have to keep going. There's nothing that you can, there's nothing that I know that I can do to stop it. I don't have a reaction really to them being in the neighborhood. Once the kids are separated, if it becomes a fact that they're separated from the parents and they wind up being here, then I guess this facility is as good as any. I do advocate things that prevent us getting to this situation, getting to the point where we have thousands of people at the border trying to get in. I think we have to respect the humanitarian needs that these people have, but we have to uh, maintain our borders. It just, we have to do that. I'm struggling a little bit here. Um, I don't know a simple answer. Uh, there's an old saying that sometimes you have to be cruel to be kind. Uh, there are all kinds of sayings about tough love. 
And this is a case where there's an element of toughness that's needed with respect to administering the borders. Uh, and we have to love our neighbor. We have to have the, in mind the humanitarian interest of those people that need help. Not easy.